ISTQB, Foundation Level, Question 112. Which of the following account for most of the failures in a system? A. Way will be found in the smallest modules. B. They will be evenly distributed among all modules. C. They will be found in the largest modules. D. They will be found in a small proportion of modules. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is D. According to the test principle 4 in the ISTQB syllabus. This aligns with the testing principle that defects tend to cluster together. The Pareto principle, also known as the AT20 rule, suggests that a small percentage of models or components typically contain the majority of defects. Therefore, focusing testing efforts on these high defect density areas is an effective strategy. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is wrong because the size of module does not determine the presence or absence of defects. Answer B is wrong because this contradicts the principle that defects tend to cluster together. The distribution of defects is usually uneven. Answer C is wrong because the size of module is not a reliable indicator of the presence of defects. Large modules may or may not have more defects. My recommendation. Please figure out all testing principles with examples to understand the meaning of each of the principles. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.3 testing principles in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the testing principle 4 is Defects cluster together. A small number of system components usually contain most of the defects discovered or are responsible for most of the operational failures. This phenomenon is an illustration of the Pareto principle. Predicted defect clusters and actual defects clusters observed during testing or in operation, are an important input for risk-based testing. This leads us to the correct answer D. I am entirely sure you will be able to pass the ISTQB Foundation level exam if you thoroughly figure out all the videos on my YouTube channel for absolutely free. Don't stop, never give up, 